We have to know the day that our Savior is going to take it. He's going to take it all. We have to know today everything we've ever done wrong in our lives. We've already asked for forgiveness for a lot of things. But a lot of things I don't even remember what I did. Mm. I can't even remember back then. And I'm crying out to God today saying, hey, Lord, I need you right now. You know? Because I'm being, I'm being attacked left and right, you know? But one thing we got to realize today, right now, is our Lord is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness that we ever done in our lives, Hallelujah. that we ever thought in our lives, you know, that we ever did out on the field, that you ever did out wherever you were when you were over here or there. Don't get me wrong, punching some dude or throwing some guy over the fence or who knows what you guys can do. You know, you guys are cops, you can do anything. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. All I'm trying to say is we all fall short of the glory of God. We all make mistakes. I've stabbed someone before, you know what I mean? I, does, I beat up some people in a big way. I've done a lot of things in my life, brother. They haunt me to this day. Haunt me to this day. And, and I cry out to God. I get on my knees and I cry and say, Lord, I need you right now. And he gives me peace. But like today, I still remember. You know, I, I've, I've hung out with the boys before, you know? We do boy things. Not with each other, but with all the girls. Okay? <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? No, we don't do the awful thing. We just, you know, we do it the right, you know, with the women, you know. But, hey, but we did it. It wasn't right. It was wrong. You know? Past, present, and future, you're forgiven. Amen. Because you got Jesus in your life. Because you've asked Jesus to cleanse your life. Because we're sinners. The Bible says that if, if I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, then I shall be saved. But another way to be saved is I need to go to the Lord and say, hey, Forgive me for whatever I've done wrong. Amen. You paid the price on that cross. You died for my sins. So I got a, I got to unload it on the table today. You know what I mean? We got to unload it on the table today because we're sinners, bro. Mm -hmm. We mess up. We blow it. We make mistakes. We say the wrong thing. We do the wrong thing. We still do the wrong thing. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would even say almost sometimes, I still even backslide sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. And and I ain't digging it. I'm not perfect, but I'm not gonna sit there and cry out, well, you know, you know, that play that song, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit there and just say, I'm messed up, you know? Chop them off if you want to, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank God, I don't need to have them chopped off. All I need to do is go to God and say, Lord, in my whole heart, I'm sorry for everything I've done wrong in my life. Amen. You know what I mean, bro? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, brother. Amen. God's grace Thank it, you, it abounds. Where, where sin abounds, grace, God's grace abounds much more. Mm -hmm. You know, and God's a forgiving, merciful God, and I too. Do this. When I wake up in the morning, I say a prayer. Lord, I trust you with all my heart. I lean not on my own understanding, but acknowledge in all my ways, whatever I'm doing, you know, the, the, the minimal, minutes, like even if I'm working on the car or doing a little chore task, I put it through heart unto the Lord, not to man. I just acknowledge God in all my ways. And do I fall short every day, every day? But I say, Lord, uh, you know, I come before you with the spirit of, 
uh, thanksgiving in my heart, thanking you for everything you've done in my life, everything you're doing and everything you will do. And I come before you, Lord, with the spirit of forgiveness, Lord, Father God, asking you to cleanse me of all unrighteousness, Lord, Father God. Anything I said, did, or thought that wasn't right unto you, Lord, forgive me for it. I, you know, wash me with your blood, Lord, and look, a fresh anointing, Lord, another chance. It's a fresh breath of life, you know. Uh, many people didn't make it through the night, you know. You think about it, ah, I gotta go to work, ah, it's gonna be hot outside, oh, it's raining, but you're, you get another chance. We get another chance every time we wake up, Lord. I slept, I woke, for the Lord sustained me. Kept me for another day. What? To do what? To give Him glory, to give Him praise, to tell somebody about Him. You know, hey, Jesus loves you. God bless you. Which God? The God of this world? No, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, the God of the Bible, the real God, the true, only living God. There is no other. There's no Buddha, no Allah, no uh, whatever God. You know what I mean? It's just... God. Amen. God Almighty. God Almighty. Alpha. 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 I mean, not the man upstairs, right? But, but the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Amen. Amen. The Lord of Lord and King of Kings. It's not who you are, but <laughs> whose you are. Right. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's do some worship. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and and uh, give him some praise. Give him some worship. Acknowledge him as our King, as our Savior, as our Lord, as the, as the Messiah. We're grateful to have Eddie here. Amen, Eddie. <laughs> All right, brother, brother, brother. Eddie got baptized with the Bible today. Amen. <laughs> um, now we're grateful to be here. Amen. Amen. But yeah, let's, 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 let's do some worship. <laughs>
Let me know. 